Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov with you again <clears throat> with weekly tradition of demo projects. This week I've decided to play with Vue.js and show you how it's easy to to incorporate Vue.js into a Laravel project. Here I am in a default Laravel 5.5 project. I've used make auth to make it more bootstrappy and there's a crowd for companies with only four fields. So we can create new company fill it in, I'm using Chrome extension form filler, create, and then we're back into the company's list with updated list, there's edit and delete operation as well. So here's how it works. Now let's take a look how it looks in the code, and then the project is already on GitHub, I will link it up in, uh, in the description for the video. So what we have here, we have, uh, this comes from default Laravel with routes, and this is what I've added. So under the auth middleware, so basically for logged in, logged in users, I'm creating one page. And uh, notice, uh, although it's a CRUD, so create, read, update, and delete, right? Uh, but I have only route get, I don't have route resource here. So all we need here is to actually launch one page admin companies, and everything else here is uh, loaded via Vue.js from API. So this is how routes work, and let's take a look at that controller. So companies controller, companies controller, and this is how it looks. That's it. It loads only one view, which uh, which looks like this. Uh, there is no data here. Uh, it extends uh, layouts app PHP with all those bootstrap way things. Uh, and it has only this. Now, let's dig deeper how it all works. <clears throat> uh, to install, uh, basically, Vue.js, actually, you don't even need to install Vue.js, it's inside of Laravel already by default from, from installation. You have to only install the, the packages, some libraries for Vue.js. In our case, we install npm router, and uh, this is the code, the final code, uh, the view router, uh, we import that uh, and we use that. So basically the main uh, file which is in resources assets let me show you resources assets js and then app js which is also included by default in Laravel just with a like, less amount of code uh, all you need to to do is to use router in our case for simple crud uh, import three view files for list for create and edit uh, forms and then uh, basically fill in the array of routes here and attach all of that to the hashtag app uh, which is I think it's an app blade which is this one so that's the main wrapper main selector that you will use the router with so that's the Vue.js uh, basically JavaScript file which then is compiled with like npm run watch or whatever you prefer into public. So public JS, where is it? Public JS app JS, which is here. So that's a compiled JS. And then you add it into your app blade somewhere at the bottom, like this, which is actually also included by default, I think, in Laravel. So you don't even have to do that. Now, let's dig deeper. What is this for? So how does that work? So companies index.view basically contains all the table, uh, which was, uh, if it was uh, without view, it would be in companies index blade. So that's basically the same index blade with table with just a little JavaScript in it. So hashtag, no, not hashtag, but uh, common template. And then there are bits and pieces, I won't explain it too deeply, but router link to create company, so that's a button, uh, that's this button, uh, which also, it doesn't reload the page, it just shows the form. Uh, then some things here, that's the data uh, to load, so there's no for each here, there's no blade here, it's only JavaScript file, so it takes companies uh, as array, and then for each companies, it loads all the data and then the link to edit file is with params company ID and link to delete is separate function with index what to delete. And then at the bottom, 
uh, mounted uh, thing is actually calling the data. So we're getting API slash v1 slash companies, which will actually give, give us the table data, and then it will load here into app companies. So that's the attachment. App companies is the same as here. So data comes from here and it's loaded into here, into the uh, loop in Vue.js. And then delete entry is also calling another API call for companies and uh, with, with ID parameter and then deleting that particular uh, line of table. Now let's look into the API. So what do we have in API? Routes API PHP. It's this. And by by the way, I didn't make any authorization for the API here. Probably for for security things, you would have to add more uh, logic here to authorize the API. But essentially, this is where the resource uh, comes to. So instead of being a route resource in the routes web uh, file, it's in routes API. And we don't need create and edit forms here. Uh, all we need is operations with the data and return, basically return JSON. So we return either all companies for the index or one company, show I don't even use that thing, but anyway. So update store and destroy. So basically all the operations with the data go to API and then are reused with the calls like this. Uh, same actually, it's in companies create. So companies create is a bootstrap form, but with attaching the fields to the model company, and then on clicking save, it posts to the uh, API companies, and uh, and yeah, that that's basically it. Um, not sure what to touch. I actually I, I'm not live coding here. I've coded it already. So maybe if you try to create that from scratch, it will be more difficult for you because there are like syntax things and how to do that. And there are actually multiple ways to code the same thing. You will probably find find it coded uh, in a different way elsewhere. But that's the basic functionality, how you can use Vue.js inside of Laravel project uh, without digging too deeper uh, into the Vue.js. All you need to do is how to use Vue Router and how to attach view files uh, and how to uh, get syntax like this into the .view files. I hope it's helpful. You will find the link to the repository in the description of the video. You can use it and reuse it. And uh, feel free to add any comments and uh, see you in the next videos of Laravel Daily and Laravel Business video channel.